see this outside without losing without losing cards. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this without losing cards. Or having screaming kids today. <laughs> welcome in, Angel Ventures. Welcome in, welcome in. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's having a good day. It is so beautiful outside. We are back outside again. We could not not be out. Hey, Miss Kalilia. We're attempting outside again. We're just outside in the backyard. Since the park was all flooded the other day. We're trying out new times. And we're seeing how this time works. Mixing her up a little bit. Mixing her up a little bit. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. We are doing cards today. <laughs> Tripping McBalls. What's up, dude? We are doing uh, cards today. We are doing reads today. We are just getting fired up here. We are just getting logged on. I hope you guys can hear me. Oh, dude, it's fucking awesome right now outside. A thousand percent awesome. It is beautiful. It's got to be like in the 70s. Or at least the sunshine makes it feel that way, I should say. The sunshine makes it feel that way. <laughs> Not much. Just cooling and relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Hopefully the wind's not too not too crazy. I'd put my earpiece in because I thought you guys might have a better chance of hearing what I'm saying without all the craziness. It's 84? Dude, that's wild. That's wild. I mean it might be it might be warmer than 70 here, but like it just feels so nice. Like, this is that weather where I just want to, like, fade away in the hammock. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not so windy. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really windy yesterday. There was, like, little puffs of wind. Today is definitely a windy day. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can get done. <laughs> But the list is open, guys. We are going to do 15.55 today for reads. You know? Um, so if you guys want something felt into, or you want something pulled on, um, let's go ahead and do it. Like, I just really would love to, to help some people today, because this energy just feels really good. Where I feel like yesterday during the day, the energy kind of felt a little eh. Like it was that in-between. And I feel like today is just... I feel like today is just one of them days, dude. Like, you could you could change some paradigms today is the way that it feels. It feels like it's that step just before things shift. Like we're still we're still in the in-between, but it just makes it feel like we're closer to the end of it. We're closer to like pushing out of it is the way that it kind of feels, you know? So we got a new deck out too. I brought the Sunshine deck. We got a brand new deck out that we haven't used on live, I don't believe yet. Um, it was gifted to us, so it is much appreciated. I have been eyeballing this deck. And then when it just arrives in the mail, it's wild to me. Like straight mind blowing. So I appreciate everybody who does just does things out of the kindness of their heart, you know what I mean? That's wild to me. I don't think, I like never want to lose that part of myself though, I'm going to be 100% honest, I think people make fun of me all the time, you know? Like, oh of course, you know, blah blah, that makes sense, but like I don't want to lose that part of me, you know what I mean? And I encourage everybody not to lose that part of them either. That's just in awe by how kind people are. That's just thankful for what people do or, or how they speak or how they act, like... I think that's a good part to always retain, you know, because nothing's expected, you know what I'm saying? Final steps to alignment. Yeah, on, on a lot of different levels though. Like I feel like this is a huge alignment with self right now. I don't feel like, at least the sub part of the collective, the subsection of the collective that would be kind of in my room or like is around that precipice point and a lot of the messages are driving for them, that's the kind of sub part of the collective right now that I feel is going through some form of a self-alignment and a lot of it feels like a self-clarity, a self-empowerment, uh, getting back into intuition, 
and no longer staying up in the mind, no longer fighting yourself, you know what I mean? Like that kind of a, of a precipice moment in everybody's journeys. And I know it's different for everybody's journeys, but, you know, amen, kept that Anne Frank mentality where everyone has good in them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't want to go dying in no attic, I know that, but, like, I don't know, you know, I love that comment, or that quote that's, like, from that one movie that it's, like, I trust everybody, it's the devils inside them I don't trust, like, it's that, it's, like, I understand that, that everybody has a piece and a part of them that's untrustworthy, it just is, you know what I mean, that's just nature, but I would like the people around me who, you know what I mean, that's not the one that they act off of, you know what I'm saying, like, like, ain't nobody immune, ain't nobody whatever, but, you know, I don't know, but I, what did I miss, <laughs> I'm readopting the parts of myself that I rejected to please others, dude, but that's just it, that's the authenticity, like, precipice that's like the authenticity coming back into self that readopting back into self that um we're kind of all kind of pushing in right now this part of the collective is 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 regaining that and that to me that's your personal power because your authenticity is your power you know what i mean like that's it like everyone talks about the frequency of love and everyone talks about love and light but like right up there next to love is authenticity you know, unconditional love is huge, but you're only unconditionally loving something if they're in their authenticity. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to have that, you have to be authentic. You know what I mean? You have to have that no expectations, that go with the flow, that, you know, kind of an outlook. I don't know. Kevin Gale, that mother of demons, just needs to help them. Kevin Gates says, when you sacrifice who you are to appease others, you slowly begin to die inside. Oh, a thousand, a thousand percent. I'm bumping Kevin Gates. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I am playing Kevin Gates. I know the wind kind of makes it hard. I have my laptop over there because I'm like trying not to give it like directly in the sun, whereas I'm like sitting right under the sun because I don't need to fry my electronics. <laughs> I helped with the fundraiser yesterday, and it was so refreshing to help people. Dude, it is. It's such a humbling experience, and it doesn't even have to be something as structured as a fundraiser, although I, I love fundraisers when the money actually goes to where they're saying it's supposed to go. So small fundraisers are the best thing possible. Club-run fundraisers, like the big corporate stuff, it's like pennies off the top goes to where it's supposed to. But it's like there's just a part of helping people, and... I think a lot of people are learning that like sometimes you're the people who help somebody else and sometimes you're the person who needs to ask for help and like just wind that back a second because that's extremely important I know I've been humbled like that so many times to where it's like you know you grow up and you grow up being the person who doesn't need help because you always get it done somehow by yourself right you know what I mean and it's just one of those it's just one of those things that sometimes you get your eye like the universe humbles your ass and it's like okay now it's your turn to ask for help you know what I mean and it's something simple like like can you do me a favor not like not like mental emotional help you know what I mean it's like can you do me a favor can can I can I borrow your time for a second can I borrow your this for a second and for some people that's hard for some people that's hard to do you know what I mean but it's one of those things that I think a lot of people are coming to the terms with that. It's not only what you can give to others, but it's also knowing when you need to accept help. You know what I mean? Like, not no, not only knowing when you need to ask for help, but like when you need to accept help. Because being healed doesn't mean doing everything by yourself. A lot of times, once you get into a more healed phase, is when the collaboration starts. Is when the coming back together starts. Is when the... So sometimes for, for my... Uh, my feminines who have been in their masculine most of their life, my go-getters, my grinders, my, my get-to-work kind of, of feminines, a lot of times it's actually the opposite, dude. It's actually the, like, oops, I, I met my match this time. Oop, dragonfly. I met my match this time. <laughs> like, I, I need to ask for help. I need, I need to ask for a hand that I so free, freely give to other people. You know what I mean? So, sometimes the lesson isn't always giving to others. It's it's asking, and that's hard, 
that's hard sometimes. Hey, Rooted. I think I saw Melissa pop in here. It's hard to see with the with the sun in the glasses, but we trying. Hey, Miss Melissa. It was for food, not bombs. Oh, Jesus. We'll rise to each other up. Rising tide and all the ships, amen. Dude, ships are sailing something fierce right now. I've been on that humble stage and it has been so different from normal, but made me realize a lot. Oh, yeah. And honestly, I think the tables turn and sides flip-flop more than we'd like to think. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes people get stuck labeling a person or an energy or a place in one area and one label in one construct and a lot of times you kind of slip up you forget you you mess up and you realize that nah shit can change too people can change too you know um so growth is possible on many levels you know what i mean especially when we're all we're all energy dude growth can happen on many many levels I posted a video right before I got on here, but it was still in the loading phase, and I just didn't feel like waiting anymore. <laughs> so if that tells you where we're at, <laughs> I was like, oh, to hell with this. <laughs> that is a big old would-be. Alright. Alright, guys. Well, the list is open. We have Cash App. We have Venmo. So if you would like something felt into, if you would like something pushed, pushed. What was that? If you like something felt into, or you like something pulled on, not pushed, we're not pushing anything. If you like something pulled on, just go ahead and let me know. And and we'll do it. Everything is uh everything is fifteen fifty five today if you want us to feel into you directly. Now, uh if you guys have collected questions, we can totally do that. And those are always free and you can always drop them down in the comment section. Just keep in mind that collective questions do not require me to feel into you directly they just are they are general statements they are general topics that should receive a general answer you know what did I miss ushered watch this every time I hear ushered I think usher and then I think watch this will Kendra come see me today I don't know I can't pull on Kendra I can do a love relationship if that's something you would like to do but it would have to be working in your energy. I swear I came out here for five minutes and every single insect and bug like descended upon me. All right, I think we caught a break in the wind. Let's see what we got for collective. Let's see if I can do this without losing cards to the moon. like grounding them cards. <laughs> I want to say that ideas are great, but everybody has them, and a lot of people don't value them when they're yours. And I don't know who needs to hear that. Ideas are great. But not everybody values other people's ideas. Other people's, I almost want to say opinions. <laughs> And they're just kind of talking about how a part of the collective is learning that the hard way. That a lot of people are more than more than happy to take credit for something that you came up with, that you had an uh, initial spark of energy or whatever surrounding. But it's almost like then somehow they turn it. And I know that sounds really weird, but there's somebody in here that needs to know that it's not you, babes. Like, that's the way that I want to say it. And I don't call people babes, so this is really odd to me completely. But I want to say, like, somebody out here understands it in that term, and it's like, it's not you. It's not you, it's them, and it's okay. But be mindful of who you share your nest with. And that's the way, that is what they're trying to get at. Be mindful of who you share your soul with. Be mindful of who you share your ideas and your creativity with. Because if you're not in a room, that'll help you build that. If you're not in the room, that'll help you grow that. If you're not in a space or a place that is there to build you up, to light you up, to set you going, to, to grind, to brainstorm with you, to support you in those endeavors, please know they will squash them because they are afraid of the moment that you level up past them because they don't view you as a collaboratory person as somebody they want to collaborate with they view you as competition and there's somebody in here that needs to take a hard look right now at who they are surrounded by 
Are they your clan? Are they your soul tribe? Are, you the, are they your family? Are they friends? Are they your business partners? Are they your, your physical partners? Are they in it with you? Or are they, are they fighting you to take first? Because somebody in here, I don't know what it is. This isn't collective. This is in this room. I can promise you this is not collective. This is in this room. There's a part of learning the hard way. <laughs> I feel like I can hear someone being like, I always learn the hard way. It's probably me. Like, deuces. But it's like, there's just this energy of, of they just want you to pay attention as to who claps with you and who's not clapping. That's the way that I want to say it. Who's clapping with you and who's not clapping. Because they're kind of talking about how you've had the idea. You've had the idea. You've had the idea that somebody's not necessarily been on the same page as you. I almost want to go as far as be like, you, you guys ain't even in the same book. It's not even that you're not on the same page. You are not on the same book. I want to tell you that you take everything from this third party perspective and you're you're always ready to show understanding and I want to tell you you show grace and you make excuses for people who should not be made excuses for that's the way that I want to say it you are somebody who is ready to show grace because you just you're just you're done with it the second it happens you're done with it and you're like all right let's move on you know what I mean mistakes are mistakes let's keep going and it's just that's the way you come at things and this person doesn't that's the way that I want to say it. this person takes things very personal they project on a lot of people there's a lot of things that you've healed that they haven't and this is what makes you a threat because somewhere down the line somebody told them that they couldn't do it they wouldn't do it it wasn't for them whatever lie they've been sold and they're just talking about how there's a, somebody in here who they know exactly who they are whether they're admitting it or not they know exactly who they are and they're just reminding you some point in time people grow with you or they grow away from you and for whatever reason my team's just bringing mention to you getting to that point where if they choose not to grow with you it's no hate all love but they can't go where you're going to entertain them would be to distract you is the way they're saying it so just just be careful I'm not saying cut people out you see that butterfly just flew by i'm not saying cut people out that's not it but they're just being mindful is is are they are they giving energy back or are they just taking are they giving energy back or are they just taking because like there's this there's this gameplay that I feel like they're playing that you don't want to be a part of. And I feel like that's why I have this higher font out here. And I feel like that's that's you like they're playing that you don't want to be a part of. And I feel like that's why I have this higher font out here. And I feel like that's that's you. So when you start getting really, really secure in what you think, feel, see like your foundations start becoming more and more solid to be around people who do not have solid foundations and it's not even that the foundations mimic yours like let's just be honest no we can agree to disagree it's that it's that energy of like they just don't have it and it's like fucking fart in the wind over here and over there and over there back over here and this is that kind of jumping around energy that keeps you thrown for a loop is what I want to say because you can't ground in any one thing and that's where distraction happens for you. That's that, I almost want to call it like a card chick. Like when they're like, look over here and all the rest of the cards are over here. That's, that's the way that I want to say it. It's like you're being fooled right in front of your face and I feel like you know it. I feel like that's the part that sucks and I feel like whoever this is for in this room, you know it. You're being fooled right in front of your face. It's like the closer you get and this is the best thing this is the best thing about, about sleight of hand tricks. The closer you get and the closer you think you are to getting it, chances are you're missing it because you're paying attention to exactly what they want you to pay attention to. And this, this is the most sideways message I think I've ever had, but my team is literally just going all for it right now. And they're just kind of talking about how if you are in this room, this is not collected. This is just you guys. If you are in this room right now, this might be for you because they're just telling you to take a head count is the way they're kind of saying it. take a head count of head count of what's around you who's around you and are they really for you are they growing or are they not you know what i mean you know so i don't know who needs to hear that but somebody does that was interesting so keep in mind that's not collective i can i mean that's collective for the room that's just not random energy in the room but that's not collective right now welcome in guys welcome in
Hey, best girl ever. What's up, dude? I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good, too. I'll scroll back through here. Push it good. Oh, God. <laughs> they like your energy. It's been raining here, and it's so green where I am. I know that's right. <laughs> What's understood doesn't need to be explained. I'm playing 3D chess, play some chess, and most playing checkers. Yeah. I stopped playing games a long time ago, I'm gonna be real honest. Keep an eye on who celebrates with you. Yeah, but dude, that's it though, and who celebrates your faults. Dude, that's what's up. I can't tell you how many people that, at least I used to say I used to know, because I don't, I don't actually hang out with them anymore, but I know a lot of people who used to be like that. They'd be so quick to tell me everything you're doing wrong, you know what I mean? And they don't let it go, ever. And there's another, there's another point of joshing. Like, I'm a big ball buster, so I'll bust balls all day. But it's it, there's a difference. There's a difference in that energy, and we're family, and we're just making jokes. And, you know, just being lighthearted. And uh, really being on some, some nasty stuff, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Take an account, dude. Take an account who's in there, you know what I mean? I don't like I don't like to play games though. I, I used to think a uh, life is chess, uh, for sure. You know, ten moves ahead, three steps, four outs, three different ways to play the game, and then one way that's not even regulated. I completely understand that, but I just got to the point in my specific journey where I didn't want to play games anymore. So I just decided the best way to win was to not play the game. And you will be surprised at how fast you clear the board when you're not willing to play the game. Because chances are, you get baited into playing a game you never set up. And a lot of times, when it's not your game to be played, you don't own the board, that's when you're already got a, lar a larger chance of losing, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, I don't do free yes or no's. I do paid reads. Um, I do free collective questions. So collective questions just don't require me to feel into one any one energy. In particular, they're more general, spiritual topics, ideas, philosophies, uh, problems, issues, constructs, that kind of stuff. Um, but I do do personal reads um, to where everything's 15, 55, we have Cash App, we have Venmo, and we'll feel into it. We can pick it apart. Uh, you can do a question or a topic, or if you don't have a question or topic, we can just do a general, and it would just be like a what you need to know, you know what I mean? I feel you on that. This week's been pushing even further into isolation. Really? I think I'm on the opposite side of that coin. Maybe not, though. Um, I feel like I did my big isolation separation uh, last year. I feel like I've been working on that. I feel like I'm, I'm at the point where we're like coming back together. Um, where kind of collaboration's super high right now. I feel like I have a small inner circle, small group, small small select homies, you know what I mean, that that we all vibe together, you know, and we've been putting puzzle pieces together for a minute. Everything is fifteen fifty five. So fifteen dollars and fifty five cents. We have Cash App, we have Venmo. I do not have PayPal and you cannot pay in gifts because I only get half of the gifts, so you would have to pay double and I just don't think that's right. I don't think anybody should have to pay double somebody else, so I, that's what that's the only reason I don't do gifts. <laughs> no worries. No worries. No worries. Full full disclosure, full honesty. Um, I will never pull on somebody else's energy um, that I don't have permission to be in, so anything I pull is in your greatest, highest good, or what you need to know, or what answers you need to get regarding a situation, a person, or whatever but it won't be in anybody else's energy. So I can't tell you if Scotty's coming back. I can't tell you if Brenda loves you, but I can look at the relationship from your energy and a third party perspective of spirit. But I can't tell you someone's decisions, free will or something like that. So full disclosure, no worries. Welcome in though. And if you choose not to get a read, no worries. You can still hang out in the room, chill out, say hi, you know? <laughs> But if you guys have collective questions, go ahead and drop them down because this energy is kind of wild right now. Like when we first logged on, we were talking about it, but yesterday we felt like we were right in the middle of the in-between. I was like, good Lord, where are we? We're at the bus station. We were waiting. 
right now, I was talking to Miss Keys this morning, and, and I, I do agree with her. Like, I do feel like we're shifting. We're not completely out of the in-between, but we are closer to the door than we were yesterday. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. No. Oh, yeah. No, we're, we're building community over here. Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. We build community first. You know what I mean? The community allows us to do what we need to do. Like, we like to help people. We like to talk spirituality. We'll play devil's advocate. We'll play in a lot of different constructs. Like, we have fun over here, you know? So, no worries. No worries at all, dude. And as long as I don't come in the house with a spider and as long as... As long as I don't get stung by one of these bumblebees over here, we should be good. <laughs> Less of a tarot space and more like really underpriced therapy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just feel like this is really a lot of people's chapter. Like, it's their personal chapter. Like, this glow up is personal. Like, that's the way that I want to say it right now. Win pick up for confirmation. Like, here it goes. Now it's really going to pick up after I say that. But, like, this glow up for a lot of people is personal. It is personal right now. And that's exactly what it needs to be because my team all week has been saying that this chapter is yours. This next chapter is yours. It's about you. Don't feel like you're being selfish. It is purposeful. This is you time. This is what you need. They're being very, very particular about it. Very particular about it. You know? You know? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just feel like some people are missing it. You know what I mean? Where the hell did that come from? You guys can't see this, but there is a black balloon that is half blown up, just rolling down the lawn right now. I don't know if somebody lost their balloon. <laughs> I don't know if somebody lost their balloon. You did? Okay, hold on. Let me check spaces. I'll be right back. All right, am I back? All righty. All righty. First of all, thank you for the follow, and you're new here, so welcome in, dude. I hope you're having a great, what's today, Sunday? <laughs> this holy, soulful Sunday. Um, do you have any questions, or do you have a topic or something that you would like me to help steer the energy towards as far as funneling or focusing the energy on, or do you just want a general? totally up to you. Just let me know what you would prefer. You did, Miss Allie? Okay. Keys, I'm, I might need you to keep a list if we get a big list because I didn't bring no notebook today. So, Lady X, do you would do you want a general read? Do you have a question or a topic that you would like felt into? The list is being listed. General? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is your faith being tested right now? And I don't even mean, I don't even mean, I don't mean your faith in other people. I don't mean your faith in humanity. I mean your faith in you. Your faith in whatever you consider God to be. Your faith in the universe. And I almost want to say for justice. I almost want to say for that what goes around comes around. I almost want to say what you put out, what you get. There's almost this part of patience that just feels as though 
it is intertwined is the way that I want to say it in your energy. It is intertwined and it just feels like a trust fall for you. But in a way of being, in a way of almost being like having to have the patience to believe in what you can't see right now, but know that it's coming and this, uh, there's just this set of knowing that feels really strong in your energy right now that feels super strong and I feel like you can feel it it's just not here yet in the way that you're expecting it to be here is the way that they're saying it I just keep hearing all in due time all in due time uh, being repeated over and over and over again <laughs> trust is hard for you I don't know who broke your trust way back in the day, uh, but they're kind of just saying it's, it's been a long, steady comeback is, is the way they're saying it for you in the ability to trust yourself because you've gotten got a few times is the way they're saying it, and because you got got a few times, you kind of stopped trusting others, but particularly yourself because you feel as though you, you misread some things in the past. And it's kind of part of those red flags that we don't always see in people, places, or spaces. I just want to let you know everybody gets got. We all have a story of getting got. But they're just kind of talking about you not wanting to shut the best part of you out anymore. So if you feel like you're in the era of not wanting to close the best pieces and parts of you out, they're asking you not to. They're asking you not to close that, like, wonder side of you because there's just, like, this kind of fun, fun kind of light, fluffy, airy, I don't know how, what I want to say, maybe a child side. It's, like, this very, like, happy-go-lucky side to you that almost can be a little bit gullible to the fact that you're just like, okay, like, and you're just so ready to just be open-hearted and trusting everything and everybody and because why would they hurt you because you're such a nice person, like... And there's just this, that energy that's starting to be, like, I almost want to say readopted, Like, readopted. And they're kind of just telling you that it's needed. Like, I want to tell you that that's, this is the part. Because they're talking about your shift out of, out of the closet in, like, a weird way. Because you did kind of, like, lock her away for a second. And you're like, okay, enough of your bullshit. You're getting us, like into trouble like stupid and you're like you're locking her up a little bit but they're kind of talking about how that shift out of that you're probably if you look back right now you're probably noticing how it happened pretty close to the shift in season not even just the collective shift in the energy but like the shift in season like the the rebirth season the coming back to and they're kind of talking about a little bit right before then right before like the actual close out of like cold cold winter is when that kind of started trickling back out is the way that they're saying it and this is part of who you are this is actually what tethers you and i feel like that's why i have this star card out here is like this is part of what tethers you to your connection but this is also part of your inner flame and i feel like this is part of this queen of wands energy out here And I want to tell you, like, God, I feel like they're talking about how, like, people people who seem so heartless, is the way that I want to say it, have hurt you in the past. And part of the realization is locking her away would make you heartless. I know that sounds awful, but locking that part, that joyous part, that happy part, that, that happy-go-lucky, always kind of a silver lining kind of part away would would in turn make you just like them and there was some sort of realization that you didn't want to be just like them that you didn't want to be the same thing that you were like f you to a couple months prior a year prior two years prior like they're just kind of talking about how it's kind of been a, a building like a crescendoing and there's a piece a piece of you that you're coming to terms with and i want to tell you has bridged out of your subconscious and has been brought into your mental clarity and i really feel like that's why you feel this new sense of vigor because there is something about this new excuse me transmutation <laughs> gross there is something that um there is something that's different about this glow up for you this is this is this is like a you time but in not in not the collective way this is like a getting back to who you are time. 
this is a risk for you. I'm going to be honest. This feels like a risk. And it may feel a little scary because you're putting your heart back out on your sleeve is the way that they're saying it. You're, you're, and I, I, I don't know if you told yourself, like, this is the last chance. Because they're making me feel like you were like, fine, we're doing it one more time. And if this blows up in my face. Like, and it's almost like we kind of made a deal with our team is the way that I wanted to say it. Like, you're like, fine, I'll follow your lead if this pays off. Is the, way that, is the way that it kind of feels. Like there was like a deal struck, a bargain made. And I feel like that's why I have this, this new mental clarity, but almost this staircase because you're like, I see the cycle. And if the cycle's repeated, then we're going to be no bueno boys. And that's, that's the feeling behind it. I'm going to be real honest. And they kind of laugh at you. I don't know if you can hear your team laugh or not, but they, they laugh at you all the time and not in a mean way. They find you hysterical because they know that you don't mean half of the shit you say in the best way possible when you're like, I'm done. I'm really one more time. And they're like, no, if we asked you to do it again, you would, you would do it. You would do it. You are so ready for the next part of your life, for this next grand awakening that they are purposely giving you the lesson of patience. Because they are trying to re-establish, re-foster in your faith. And that's part of this chariot, is what are you going to do when you're not being directed? What are you going to do when there's no clear roadmap? Are you going to stay true to who you are, your authenticity, or are you going to falter? This is exactly where you're at. You're being given the space to falter, but with all of the hopes that you're not going to. This is the patience, but you're also here to prove to yourself during this time that you can do it. Because there's still a part of you that doubts the shit out of you. There's still a part of you that just is ready for you to mess it up. And your team's talking about how you really haven't messed up a lot in life. In fact, you just stuck around longer than you should have, is the way they're saying it. You stuck around longer than you should have, and you trusted the wrong people because you wanted to believe that they were as good as you and I feel like your team's kind of talking about how that's kind of where half of your confusion comes from is because you view everybody in the way that you would want people to view you if you were to make the same mistake if you were to do things and they're just saying like that's half your confusion is because you can't understand how people would do that because you couldn't do it and they're just saying that you got to be careful you can't project you onto people and this is part of the lesson that you're having to learn the hard way, is that even though you're a great person, people aren't where you're at. And this is the clarity of that of that mind, of that sight that you're coming onto terms with right now, is that not everybody, not everybody thinks and acts and has the same moral code as you. And it's super hard to get on the page with, but they're telling you this is part of that what you're ushering through right now is you're learning to see everything for what it is, not what you want it to be. But it's kind of interesting because they don't want you to lose that hope. They don't want you to give up on that, almost like I want to say it, that naivety. They don't want you to give up on that kind of more naive part of you that doesn't believe that anybody would hurt you. Like They're kind of talking about that's the part that they want to they want to like almost nourish right now that's the part that they want to bring out because they're saying that for you specifically not everybody else dude but just for you that's where your hope is that's where your faith is rooted that's where your trust is rooted it's rooted in that happy time version of you Everything is coming together for you in the physical. I got my Six of Pentacles out here, which is all about my victory. And it's on your way to balance. It's on your way to balance. And it's that juggling that happens right before balance is sought. And then I have the Empress out here. And I really feel like that's how they are seeing you. And when we said earlier that you're, you're like being brought anew right in time for the shift and the season to be rebirthing. That's exactly what they're talking about. Because you're bringing back the old you, but in a new way, is the way they're saying it. You're bringing back the old you, but in a like a new, more wise, more learned way. 
So because you're paired with with the collective rebirth, <laughs> they're saying the timeline isn't yours. So there's a part of control that you're learning with patience. <laughs> and that's part of tying me back to this chariot is you got to go with the flow and ride the waves, but you can't tell the waves where to go. And that's that's part of the biggest lesson that you're you're undergoing right now. So what you want is coming, but you don't get to say when. You don't get to say when, dude. <laughs> Page of Swords for more clarity on the fact that you're... Or for more confirmation on the fact that your clarity is incoming and it has continued to start coming. But that's linked with your creativity for me. That's like with your authenticity and your creativity of how you are just completely authentically you and you're just really owning that error right now. You're really owning that glow up, dude. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but pages are also my child energy, which also takes me back to that like that like blissful naivety that they were talking about before. But pages are also movement for me because they are a messenger. It's my like incoming, so it's my in progress. Specifically with my sunshine deck over here. You do things in an untraditional way, on purpose. They want you to stick with that, but there's that there's that faith, dude, that's being tested right now. There's that faith that's being tested right now. Do you have any questions for anything? I'm going to scroll back through the chat and see if you commented anything. Um, but if you need anything clarified or you want, you have any bridging questions off of anything we talked about or whatnot, go ahead and drop them down now and like, let's get in it. You know what I mean? Time. Well, time can hurry up. <laughs> dude, I feel you on so many levels. <laughs> I'm right there with you, dude. I am right there with you. I'm like, anytime you want to come through. <laughs> I always talk about wanting to be more heartless, dude. Sometimes you do, though. Like, sometimes you really do just want that. Is it going to rain? Oh, I hope not. I hope not. We got electronics out here. Big open heart. Bad if you got bad people around you. Yeah, it's hard, dude. It's hard. Penny, thank you for the hearts, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ugh, I feel lost. Can I ask? Am I dealing with one of those situations right now? Welcome in, Tracy. Thank you for the follow, dude. Thank you guys for, for letting people know that I don't look at the chat while we read. I don't want to be led any one direction. I just want to feel into the energy. Welcome in, Peter, King Peter, Andrew, and the Just. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Um, so you want to know... Let me scroll back up. Are you dealing with one of those situations right now? Um, can you just clarify with what you mean one of those situations? One of those situations where, uh, uh, what part of one of those situations? Like, are, are you dealing with a, with a person who's not? I'm struggling with my current relationship a little. I want to marry her and also leave her. Oh, oh okay. So you wanted a relationship read. That's why I asked that in the beginning, homie. Because what we need to hear is not always, oh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what, I think they already told you the answer. I think they already told you the answer. And I mean that in the best way possible. Because your team is talking about, like right now, they're talking about how they answered that in a roundabout way. And they're kind of talking about how it resonated with you and it hit that chord and it brought up that topic for a reason. But I'm going to ask your question regardless. I don't want to focus on it. <laughs> I don't want to focus on it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, your team is never going to give you an answer like that 
as a yes or no because that would infringe upon your free will. But they can tell you what they need to know about a situation and you have to form your own choice though. Because the choice is yours. You're the one living the 3D life. You're the one in the vessel. So I can tell you right now, if you want them to be like Dumper, they're not going to do it. I don't know your team, but I've never met a team to do it. You need to get out of your head about it. You need to get out of your head about it. Right off the bat, because... Are you the more masculine energy in the relationship? Because... When I asked that question, they threw you out as... Uh, excuse me, transmutation. They threw you out as the king of swords. But pair with this judgment card... And this chariot and this six of wands. To me, it feels like getting out of your head and into your heart leads you the answer, but there's that like having to let go of something, which is feel like it's really important. My chariot over here, which ends up setting you free, because to me, especially in this sunshine deck, dude, this this judgment card is not. This judgment card is not your typical take me to the lawyer and judge me. It's like this setting yourself free because you it's like offering the best parts of yourself up is the way that it, it like kinda of, it's almost like your rebirth, you're busting out like your soul, like your essence kind of a thing. And pair with this victory. You just you gotta follow your heart in the situation, dude. And they're kinda of talking about how your heart already knows the answer. It's it's only when your head gets in the way does it get clouded. And that's exactly the way that they're saying it. Because they're being very blunt. And I hate this. I hate this so much for you, dude. Because I think it's a cop-out. Because I hate when my team does it. But they're telling you, you already know the answer. That you already know the true answer. So one of the tricks that me and Keys do, and we do it to each other all the time. Keys being Keys of Wisdom, the mod, my business partner. Um, one of the things that we do is we ask ourselves what voice is speaking. So, sometimes when we want to do something, we'll ask ourselves, but what does our soul say? And we'll ask ourselves that, like, what, what does our soul say? Versus what does our shadow say? Versus what does our head say? Versus, and sometimes that's the answer that you need to, you need to move off of what your soul says. that makes sense because there's there's a part of like there's a part of avoidance in the energy of like avoiding the problem and hoping it goes away like there's a part of avoiding the problem and hoping that the problem disappears and my team's being very very direct in that <laughs> ignoring something doesn't make it disappear but it brings it out of our realm of awareness. But then we also can't deal with it. Because we can't fix what... You know what I mean? We, we can't quote unquote fix or come to terms with something that's out of our awareness. So you gotta ask yourself, why are you avoiding it? It's probably because it's an answer you don't want to hear. See, but that's it. That's what that's what your team's saying, dude. That, that they already told you in the read what your answer was. And that's why they said that it resonated with you. Did you fell? Did you fall in love with what she could potentially be? Because we fall in love with, if everything goes right, people's potential, rather than who she is right now. Because if you don't love her for who she is right now, then you're not unconditionally loving her. You're loving her with conditions. And you're holding her to expectations she didn't agree to. Because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't sit her down and go, I'm gonna love you if you're this person for me. That's the truth. That's the truth. And you gotta ask yourself, 
you got to kind of rip those glasses off and, and look at that, that other person and go, right now, can I love you in your worst moments right now? And not because I want to be a fixer, not because I'm holding on for a better moment. Like, right now, can I love you for right now? Because if, if we're being honest, if we talk scientifically, there is no past, there is no future, there's only the now moment. And all the moments happen right next to each other on parallel timelines. You know what I mean? So, she's only ever going to be what she is right now. If she never changes, if she never changes, are you going to be okay with that? And that's why your team kind of, in a, in a kind of a dicky kind of way, and I understand it because teams aren't going to tell us yes or no. They're going to have us think and feel what we really want. You know what I mean? And that's why they said that they, they told it to you and it resonated and that's what elicited that question. Is that because it hit a core? You know what I mean? Being who she is right now, is that enough? If she never changes, are you happy? You gotta ask yourself that question, dude. If she never fucking changes, are you happy? You know, and you definitely do not have to put it in this chat. You do not have to put any of that stuff in this chat. That's a personal question. But like, because you got your answer. It's just if you wanna look there long enough. That's the problem. You can't avoid it. That's what they're talking about, not avoiding your heart. You can't avoid it. Your brain wants to tell you, don't look over there. Don't look that way. Don't, don't do it. But your heart's like, there's something wrong over here. It sucks, dude, but that's 100% the truth. You already know your answer. And I'm gonna be real honest. I'm gonna make it super personal. It, I'm gonna be real honest. If somebody were to tell me they didn't know whether they wanted to marry me or leave me, I would tell them to leave me. I would tell them hands down to leave me. Just if somebody were to tell me that. I don't know whether I wanna marry you or whether I wanna call it quits, I'd be like, call it quits. Because I don't wanna be with somebody who's got one foot out the door. You know what I mean? And you don't deserve to be with somebody who makes you want to feel like you need to have one foot out the door. Like, let's let's flip it. You know what I mean? Like, if... And it's, it's a different kind of, uh, I'm scared because it's so perfect and maybe you've been a runner. That's a different kind of energy than, like, a fuck this energy. Like, completely different kinds of energies, right? Both trauma, both running, both avoidance, but, like, different kind of energy. You know what I mean? So, like, if you're in the energy of being, like, that much questioning you gotta ask yourself what what are the red flags that make you question that hard and where's the common ground there because if something's so hot and cold energetically that's not good that's not stable that's not healthy if something's such a hot and cold relationship whether that be a friendship a parental relationship a business relationship a friendship like a you know what I mean I doubted my judgment in this and I ignored red flags. Dude, but there you go. But you, you, you just, you have the awareness now. So now you just gotta, you gotta let the floodgates open to your awareness. And then after you have become aware of everything that you need to through review, through self-evaluation, through evaluation of the relationship, through whatever else, then you get to kind of take that step, you know what I mean? Then you get to kind of take that step and be like, okay, now how do I want to put this into action, right? Because it's all about the actionable step after awareness. Awareness is great, but if we take no action on our awareness, we're getting nowhere. So get all the awareness you need and then decide what your action is. But then your team's just being very honest. Don't question it. Once you decide, stick with it and keep going. Don't question it. You know? Does that help, Lady X? Ooh, I almost dropped that through the crack. Did I drop one? I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. <laughs> Does that help? Do you have anything else you need clarified, dude? You know? And like from somebody who's been in a uh, me talk me talking about me, from somebody who's been in quite a lot of learning relationships 
if I ever get to the point where I'm questioning my relationship and I have to ask somebody else outside of my relationship about my relationship, that's a red flag for me personally now. For me personally, that's a red flag. Because if I can't keep my relationship inside my relationship and we can't work it out together, that's a problem. You know what I mean? So like, you know. But as long as you don't have any other questions or you don't need anything else clarified, like, I appreciate your time, your energy, and your space spent today, and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we could confirm for you some of the things that you're already seeing and feeling yourself, dude. Thanks, Leo. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know, maybe she got kicked out? Lady X, are you still here? Did she get kicked out? You can get your favorite thing delivered to your door so you can keep your favorite thing while you watch your favorite thing. Alright, well, I appreciate you and I hope that helped. I think I have Miss Allie on the list. It's kicked you out twice? What the hell? Who knows? Everything's been good over here. I haven't gotten any like warnings or any any crazy stuff. I'm gonna just check spaces before we do Miss Allie. I'll be right back guys. Don't go nowhere. Any crazy stuff. I'm gonna just check spaces before we do Miss Allie. I'll be right back guys. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> All right, Miss Allie. Are you still here, dude? If you're here, Allie, just let me know, and let, I want to know if you have any questions, or if you have a topic you want pulled on, dude, because I know, um, I know sometimes you do. Just a general? Oh, shit. No worries. No worries. I know someone else said they got disconnected too. But I just want to let you know that all the lives we repost to YouTube. So just in case you did get disconnected and you did miss anything because we are outside so it happens. Um, it's always posted to our YouTube channel within um, within 24 hours. It'll be time stamped with your first name. Um, or your handle, depending on whichever one I can remember, <laughs> or look up, <laughs> um, and it'll be there, so just in case you need to, to look back, dude, you know, but I appreciate you for your time, your energy, and your space, so I'm, I'm hopeful that that helped with clarity and just confirmation for the things you clearly already know, oh my god, yeah, no worries, we, that's why we do it though, because we know sometimes TikTok's internet can be kind of wild, but, yeah. It's something that I just realized with my mediumship that a lot of people were so in the moment that they just couldn't always recall everything that was said or how it was said. So um, I realized because TikTok automatically films the, like, records the lives, it was like a simple thing that I could do for you guys, just post them somewhere, you know, with first names so nobody needs to have you on blast. But So just know within 24 hours and probably probably even before tonight it'll be posted up there for you i hope you have a good day dude good rest of your sunday all right miss Allie, we're gonna get down to it dude we are gonna get right down to it Are you still questioning yourself after all the times we've sat up here and talked? Are you still questioning yourself? Are you literally still questioning? 
if shit's still happening for you, like, like, right off the bat, I feel like your team's like, she still is questioning herself. She still has a million questions, no answers, and is asking more questions. She questions if the answers that she got right are right. And it's almost like this. Are you questioning the path you're on? And that's the way that I almost want to say it. Like, are you questioning the path that you're on? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I have this... I had this thought this morning, and I didn't understand why this thought came in my head this morning, and I haven't even shared it with Keys yet. That's how wild. But, like, it was this thought that, like, the... Like... I feel like everybody always wants to know what their path is, right? But then it's, it seems like the closer and closer we actually get to our path, the more in the dark we become. And that was just something that was was said to me this morning, and I didn't understand where it came from, and I didn't understand why it was important, but maybe it's important for you. Maybe it's important for, for the way you're questioning things, because there's just something here about the self, and there's just something here about you, you like questioning what you're doing, if you're doing it right, where you're going, what's happening, what's next, and it's just a lot of, a lot of questions, and I almost want to call it like the never-ending question real. But it's the best way possible. And I feel like it's not because you're in a bad place. I literally feel like it's because you're getting out of a bad place. So you're like almost a little bit gung-ho. Ow. Ow. You're almost a little bit gung-ho. Like. And so honestly, I had this thought this morning when I was talking to my team out of nowhere. And they were just kind of saying how like when you when you get on your path. There's, the, the, there's no, nothing else you need to go to. There's there's no other thing. So, of course, you don't see your path coming because you're on it. And there's just something about when you first enter your path, it's the darkest thing possible. You can't see it. And I know it's, it's hard to understand, but they just wanted me to share that weird thought that I have with you. They just wanted, they like, just wanted me to share that weird thought. So I'm not sure where they're going with that, if they're going to go anywhere with it, but I just wanted to to clue you in on it. So if you have been asking yourself, like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, where am I going? What's next? Is this it? Is this what I'm here for? Is this my path? Does this get me on my, like, divine journey? Does this... And they're just saying, when all those questions come up, even though you were seem like you were headed in the right direction before, is the way they're saying it, it's because you're closer than ever. It's not because you're further away. It's because you're closer than ever, and that's when the blindfold goes on. And that's why the light. That's when the light gets dark, because you traveled this far, and you should know that you're your own light source. And I know that's wild, but that's just what they're saying. Are you in your unfazed era, Miss Allie? Because I have this seven of wands out here, and in my sunshine deck, it is my unfazed. It is that you-do-you-over-there-boo kind of an energy, and you just sitting there in all your glory in your little divine bubble being like, I'm protected, I'm unbothered. It's that unbothered energy. And pair with this magician, I want to, I want to add them together. I want to add together one plus seven is eight, and I want to tell you eight is your balance. But also, I want to tell you, like, eight is your eight is your state of self. Like, eight is knowing you. And there's just a part of this of this of this power of this collecting of tools that makes me feel like you're you're sitting in your power now. That's the way that I want to say it. It's like my sitting in my power. So it's it's almost like that build up. It's like that when you sit to to build to ground to like amplify that's the word thank you team to amplify the energy before you figure out what to do with it that's the way that i want to say it that's the way that i want to say it and then paired with the standing in my power card shut up have you been ruffling feathers has your power been ruffling feathers 
the fact that people can't get at you the way they used to be able to get at you, the fact that people can't push your buttons the way that they used to push your buttons, is that irking the shit out of people right now? Is that really bothering the people who tried to manipulate and control you through their actions because they liked your reaction? That's almost the way that I want to say it. And you took back control of your energy from other people and they're not happy about it. That's exactly what I want to say, dude. I want to tell you that part of your unbothered is that people can't get at you the way they used to be able to get at you. Like, people can't poke and prod and elicit the same alley they used to. And I even want to say two years ago. The same alley two years ago. Your team is saying congratulations. Because they're saying it was an art form that was carefully the word crafted. I almost said skilled, but then they correct me. Carefully crafted. They're saying over this entire lifetime. The art form of giving a fuck not to give a fuck. The art form of being unfazed because I am stable and you can't bother me. The I don't care what you say. I know what... I know, I know what I am, but what are you? Is that the old, like, I'm rubber, you're glue? Like, that, whatever that's saying, I feel like I'm hearing that in my head. Hold on. I want to tell you, this is this is the part of your journey that you've been waiting for. This is the way that I want to say it. This is the part that, that the old you used to pray for. The precipice. That almost that... <laughs> that like independence. That standing up for self. This is something that you used to... Did this shift just happen for you? Like, did this, did this just happen for you? Because I literally have the Eight of Pentacles. Wasn't I just talking about balance? I wanted to add the One and the Seven together. I wanted to add the, like, like, I wanted to add the One and the Seven together to make Eight. And that was going to be your balance. That's your physical balance coming online now. With this Page of Pentacles and the Judgment card, I'm going to be real honest. I'm going to be a thousand percent honest. I'm taking this judgment card even though, even though this is my sunshine deck and even though this card of judgment means something different. It's not only your resurrection, which it clearly is, but this is karma, bro. This is that what goes around comes around. And the people who are still poking you and are, who are so bothered right now because you're not eliciting the same alley you were and your shadow's not triggered and you're not you're not engaging in reactive abuse and you're not doing these types of things anymore and you're not allowing yourself to be triggered by the closest of people is the way that I want to say it, by the closest of people. They are reaping the karma for intentionally poking the bear. And that sounds awful, but that's the truth. Because it does not elicit the same high level energy they used to get from you they're having to act out more and more and they're doubling down and tripling down and they're acting more a fool and you're still sitting over there unfazed in your place of balance being unbothered unbothered by them and this judgment card and this like even this page of pentacles dude like your youngness is showing through but also is your originality and look the way look at the way she's standing like look at the way she is standing one one foot on the ground one foot bent this is connection this is connection with self proudly dis displaying the pinnacle like you don't mind being the deliverer of that kind of karma you don't and it's funny because you're not intending to be you're not doing it for harm you being who you are standing in your essence standing in your presence having learned you got the hermit card out here having learned to be your own light weren't we just talking about hold on i think we were just talking about being our own light and then this card the hermit is literally 
she is glowing. She's not holding the lantern. You see the lantern is like, yeah, the lantern's like over here, down over here. She's, she is her own light. She doesn't need, she doesn't need the lantern. That's exactly what you're doing right now. You're just being you and it is bothering people. Just keep in mind, your authenticity, your truth, bothering people. If that bothers them, then they should have, tro they should have treated you better. That's the way that I want to say it. If that bothers them, then they should have treated you better. And a lot of people don't want to hear that because it challenges their beliefs. It challenges what they think and all of those other things. But that's a thousand percent the truth. So if they don't like the story, they should have done something different in your story. You don't have to adopt what they have going on. And honestly, your team's telling you to pay them no mind. I'm going to be 100% honest. Your team is telling you to pay them no mind. Do not be triggered. Do not engage. Stay balanced. Stay in your place of zen. Stay in your newfound abundance, your newfound joy. Because there's just this light of self that's glowing up right now is the way that I want to say it. I want to shuffle these one more time. I want to shuffle these one more time. Because I feel like this is more of a, congratu a congratulatory message. Just so weird, but I mean, I do have my sunshine deck out, so it's usually a little bit of the brighter side. But like, uh, there's something here, though. <laughs> Dude, this is like your ultimate tower moment because your tower moment is your transformation moment. Dude, because like, look at this tower. It's got it's full of butterflies. The butterflies, like the towers, being zapped with lightning, which is your, which is your connection, which is your, your like breakthrough, your aha moments, your realizations, your whatever, your spark. But it's coming straight from divinity. It's coming straight for, straight from the side. But the fact that every single lightning strike ends with a butterfly, it's ushering in your transformation. And what's even funnier about this is that this tower is happening more ways than one. It's because it's the realization that the people that were your downfall, dude, were the people who were closest to you. And that hits in a completely different way. I'm going to be 100% honest. When when the, uh, the enemy is already on the inside of the camp, that hits different. I don't care. And I know nobody's really the enemy, and I know we're not really against anybody, but you understand what I mean when I say that. When the person who's doing you dirty, does you harm, doesn't understand you, is playing those dirty games of tag with your energy to elicit a response is, is over-controlling, doesn't like you when you stand up for you and when you choose to do what's best for you. And when that's the person who is on your right-hand side, you're like, what? That hits differently. And part of your transformation, this just has to be the theme today, part of your transformation is personal, dude. It's because you're no longer caring what they have to think or say about who you are and what you're doing. You are being congratulated by your team, but you're also being warned not to not to fall back into pattern. And I mean their pattern, their cycle. Do not, do not be aroused, do not be... Do not be triggered. Do not be riled up. And I used to tell I used to tell the kids that I used to work with this all the time. Like somebody's acting a whole fool. The worst thing you can do is act a fool back. As much as we all want to, and as much as at one point in time we've all done it, it's the worst thing you can do because then you guys just both both look like two crazy people yelling at each other. If there's only one person yelling, it doesn't matter how quickly you walk into that situation. It doesn't matter who's right, who's wrong. To everybody, the only person yelling will look like the crazy person. And you don't have to defend yourself at that point. You won't have to speak on it at all. It'll make sense to everybody around you, dude. And that's the wild part. That's the karma. Because that's the clarity for everybody to see. Is that it's not you. It's not. And your team's just reminding you to stay in your lane right now, dude. In the best way possible. Not like a... Not a down talk, not a, oh, you got distracted. Nope, they're just reminding you this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now because this is your authenticity. This is who you are. And they're just telling you, hey, keep doing what the frick you're doing and stay in your lane. Like, stay all the way in your lane. Eyes down, blinders on, like, <laughs> like forward movement only. Like, I was looking for the brighter side today. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
looked like Hagrid there for a second. Hey, oh, <laughs> welcome, Harry. Um, but do you have any questions? Do you have any questions, Miss Allie? Do you have anything that you would like clarified? I'm going to scroll back through all these comments. But I feel like your message is super short today and super, super simple. You know what I mean? Super short. Super short. Wow, the S's today, guys. Super short and super simple. Mind blowing. The math is mathing, even my journey. <laughs> Aw, Jessica, I'm glad that that helps. Sometimes spirit uses other people's reads or messages, and we pop in at the right moment to hear what we need to hear. And if it resonates, I tell people to take it, you know what I mean? But just use your discernment to see if it truly resonates, you know? Thank you for the follow, Adam. Makes a lot of sense for me. Oh, thank you for the heart. I'm sorry I missed the heart badge. I'm so sorry. Thank you, authenticity. Authentically me. Thank you for the share. Un unfamiliar embrace the journey. Yeah, it's hard sometimes, though, for sure. They could at least give me a nightlight. <laughs> they could at least give me a nightlight. Uh-uh. This part of the power, though, bro, is realizing that you are the nightlight. Just crack yourself like a glow stick, bro. That's the whole point, though. You don't need that damn lantern. You know, you're a fucking lightning bug. Light it up. You know what I mean? unbothered by everyone but myself dude that's that bubble self-love pumpkin <laughs> yes keys thank you guys for being being here and hanging out my family is for sure for sure bothered oh jesus congratulations friend heck yes embrace this keep writing your story i was looking for the brighter side today thank you for the follow miss kelly no ma'am okay well, I'm glad, Miss Allie, that that helped. I'm getting like, I look like Hagrid right now with my hair all over the place. Thank you. I'm glad that that helps, dude. I'm glad that gives you some confirmation and some clarity. But for whatever reason, I, they just started, they brought me right back to that thought from this morning, dude, of our conversation I was having with my team privately. So that's kind of wild. Sometimes I don't understand why things happen in the moment. And I had to learn the hard way. And he sometimes has to ground my ass. Because I always get to ask in the why. What does this mean? Why? Why do I need to know this? And she's always the first one to be like, okay, we all know that you don't need to do anything with it right now. And that was one of those moments this morning that I was like, okay, this is going to make sense later. Like, and then boom. So thank you for coming in, Miss Allie. And thank you for allowing that, that conversation I had with my team this morning to make a whole lot more sense as why that was needed. You know what I mean? Sometimes you guys don't even realize how much you guys act as messengers for us over here about things that you have no idea about and I am so grateful every day that you guys just come up here and say what you feel and that's why we built this space so that you guys can feel comfortable saying what you feel and saying what you think and not not feeling judged not feeling anything like that because that's when a lot of messages get through to a lot of people so thank you for your time your space and your precious energy today Miss Allie and just remember dude <laughs> you are renting space in people's heads for free. That might not be where you want to be, but just know. If you are living your best life doing you and you are bothering people who are not in your physical space, you are renting space for free in somebody else's head. And that's their problem, not yours, madam. That is their problem to deal with, not yours. So you keep doing you, Miss Allie. You keep doing you, bro. 444 four, four on the clock for confirmation. If you wanted any more confirmation. Three fours. Which is also 12. Which is also three. Mind, body, spirit, dude. Mind, body, spirit. Alright, guys. We're going to do last call. So if you want to get on the list, go ahead and get on the list now. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run out to the barn. And I will talk to you guys later tonight. We will be on later tonight. I just wanted to try out a new time because it's Sunday. I wanted to go a little bit later in the evening and, and see what, what was going on. Um, but we will be back on um, around that like 8.30, 9 o'clock time. We'll kind of see. I was, I was thinking about doing like 7, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about trying out the 7 o'clock time slot. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But... Last call, so if you want to get on the list, go ahead and get on there now. If you guys have collective questions, you can always drop collective questions down in my comment section. Just keep in mind, collective
collective questions do not require me to feel into you for the answer. They're more general in nature, either a topic or a problem or an idea or a concept or something you maybe don't quite understand about spirituality or a certain philosophy, you know? And we'll, uh, we'll run right through it. Dude, thank you guys so much for 13.8k likes. Dude, that's awesome. We've been out here for like maybe an hour. You guys are awesome. You guys are so awesome. I got like the best little collective in the world, bro. Is anybody else ready for like beach weather? I'm tapping away. <laughs> I appreciate it. Authentically me. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it. Is anybody else ready for like beach weather? Cause like I'm ready for body surfing. I'm ready for, for, for just chilling out and swimming and pools and hammock life and laying in the grass. And I'm, I'm so ready for that season. I wish you guys could see this cloud. It's literally like, it's literally in the shape of a heart. That's wild. I guess I wanted to go to the beach too. <laughs> Welcome in T. Dude, I know. I'm like hoping I'm gonna go back to the East Coast, like the Coast Coast, soon, and I'm hoping, uh, hoping to swing by the beach if there's enough time. When you grow up a beach baby, a little shore person, you know. Sometimes when you move away from the ocean, you get a little landlocked. I feel like people don't like just energetically speaking. People don't realize how much that shit matters. I didn't because I wasn't very spiritual when I moved uh, out here. But uh, yeah, it was rough. You move away from a big body of water. Oh, it was rough. Hey Chevy 454. What's up? Happy Sunday to you too, dude. Thank you for all the love. But dude, no, that's 100% the case. Like, sometimes you don't realize just how much it matters, especially with the water being such a huge element, being such a calming element, a flow state element, you know, a good way of transmuting energy and all those things. You'd be surprised and then you move away and you, you become what I call landlocked. Maybe you're not surrounded by a huge body of water called the ocean. You know what I mean? Um, and things move differently. It's like you have to have your land legs. It's weird, you know? The energy shifts, things things move differently, and there's a large adjustment period that happens, you know, when that happens, so I feel like people don't pay attention to it enough, but you see it now, though, don't you? <laughs> you see it now, though, don't you? I don't know. But just pay attention, because I was talking to Keys about this today, because it just, it just hit me, because, like, uh... I don't know. I think it was a couple days ago. My team was talking about, oh, well, when the next shift happens at the end of April. And I, I thought that was weird because I didn't have any other shifts happening on my radar in the end of April that I was, like, consciously aware of. But my team kept talking about it. And then me and Aaron, or Keys, was talking this afternoon before I got on live. And there, you know, no shit, dude. There is another shift. Like, there is another shift happening right now. Like, what, what is it, Keys? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's like, uh, Pluto? Is it Pluto going retrograde? Because, is it Pluto going retrograde the first week of May? And then Chiron? Chiron's moving right now? So it's just like, so crazy. I bought a house close to several bodies of water and the energy. I'm stuck. <laughs> Dude. I, I don't care what anyone says, water is one of the most underrated elements. Everybody always talks about earth grounding, and don't get me wrong, like, I love grounding and I love the earth element, but dude, water, water just opens up so many doors. No more retrogrades. Yeah, no, but there was somebody was saying that, like, there's going to be a series of, of seven days. There's a series of seven days. I think this was Keith. There's a series of seven days that this year there will be no planets in retrograde but like every other every other time frame of the year of the year there will be at least one planet in retrograde what <laughs> i was just sitting there like what 
<laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck? But, so, yeah, so if we didn't already, if we weren't already saying that this year was last year on replay, but everyone's choosing the opposite, it's exactly what's happening. Exactly what's happening. And then pair that with review, pair that with communication, pair that with self discovery, truth, trust, like, and all of that things that are continuously unfolding throughout the year. Wild. You're a Virgo. <laughs> oh, thanks for the heart. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> hey, Miss Shannon. Dude, how's it going? I hope you're having a good Sunday. Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. But no. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the roses. Thanks for all the gifts. I have a lot of cool new stuff going on next year. I'm stoked. Dude, that's what's awesome, though. This is like one of those... I, don't, I wanna... I like... In my personal space, I feel like it's a rewind year, but it's not a rewind in a bad way. It's like when you used to have the old VHS tapes and you'd have to rewind it before you brought it back to the store. You know what I mean? That's just what it feels like. It feels like we're doing a rewind, but we're still moving forward at the same time, which is so wild. We're, we're being reround to be re replayed again, to start something new, to be rewatched, to be re-listened to, to move forward. Like, So it's just really fun. It is, even though people don't talk about it like that. Like, it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. But back to bodies of water. Yeah, no, the water element, dude, is so underrated. So underrated. So underrated. And I had a friend of mine, a, a good buddy, who, who always used to talk about, uh, about water. Like, this man worshipped water. Like, I swear to goodness. Like, but... He was 100% right. <laughs> he was 100% right. It's underrated. And there are so much awesome things that you can do with the water element that people don't talk about. Thank you so much for all the cones. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is much appreciated. I hope you're having a good day. <coughs> oh, sorry. I know that sounded probably awful with my earpiece in. But it's going to be, it's going to be so much, so much fun, dude. Thank you for the cones. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, Keys, you're back. You're back. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Of course, I was talking about planets when you, when you dipped out for a second. Um, but there's seven days this whole year, right, where there's, there's not going to be any planets in retrograde. But other than that, there's at least one planet in retrograde, right? Isn't that what we just, like, found out? And then uh, at the beginning of... May. At the beginning of May, Pluto is in retrograde, right? I think that's what you said. Pluto's in retrograde. And then either today? Is it today? Did it? Did I say today somebody said that Chiron was doing something? Your Chiron was doing something? I don't know. We were talking about that. I make the biggest and best decisions during the Mercury retrograde every year. Dude, but that brings me back to the eclipse energy when everybody was like with these fake prophecies of, oh, the world's ending and talking about revelations and, you know, God smiting everybody. And you're like, all right, calm down. Like, yeah, like there's just so much false, like, you know, fear mongering kind of energy surrounding. Like, don't look at the eclipse. You're going to get sunburned. Don't go outside. It's going to be a series of darkness. They think the darkness is only going to last a day and it's three years. Like, no, like, stop. Like, and, but honestly, all the people who took the solar eclipse in like the best foot forward kind of a way and use that energy i know so many people whose lives are literally just amplified right now in the best way possible in the best way possible yeah april 25th to may 2nd no planets in retrograde may 2nd pluto goes retrograde yeah now don't don't ask me any of that after right now because I was surprised that my team and Keys' team even allowed us to have that before it happens because I swear mine and hers team likes to work in like the confirmation stage of things. So they'll be like, we'll be talking about something and then somebody will be like, oh yeah, because blah, 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 like the moon cycle because of this. And we'll be like, what? And then we'll go look at it and we're like, oh my God, why does this fit everything we've been saying? So the fact that they allowed us to find it before... <laughs> before and giving us a heads up I'm even more excited <laughs> I'm even more excited to see what happens but I know so many people who use the solar eclipse energy in the best way possible 
for clarity, for truth, for wisdom, for unlocking of abilities to transmute and to put excess abundant energy in the projects and the spaces that they were working towards and working on, you know what I mean? So I think it's all how we choose to look at things, you know? I think it's all how we choose to look at things. And if you were able to transmute and harness and funnel that energy in the best way possible, like... I guarantee you're probably riding high right now. No matter how much shakiness you might feel, I guarantee you're on some good shit right now. You know? And in the next couple of days, we're going to see who was faking it to make it and who really, truly harnessed that energy in a good way. For themselves in a good way. For self-discovery, for self-healing, for self, you know manifesting self, you know, creativity, like, that kind of stuff, like, creation energy, you know what I mean? Their healing journeys, their spiritual awakenings, like, whatever. Whatever your area was, you know, fulfillment, abundance, whatever, you know? Because now that we're, now that we're more than three days post-solar eclipse, this is when the real energy that people have adopted starts to set in. You know what I mean? And you watch those people who are living high the day after the solar eclipse. And you'll see if they're still living high seven days after. And they truly adopted the lesson, understood, utilized, transmuted, put their best foot forward. Or if they faked it because they were just riding the high and they didn't do the work. And that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Don't be afraid to check your ass. I feel like people have to check their own ass several times. And get you a friend that doesn't mind checking your ass too. Everybody needs at least one friend. And I, I was I was reading something the other day. No, I was watching something. I think I was watching something the other day. And it was like uh, this guy on like an interview or something. And he was telling everybody how like we, we were taught friends wrong. And the guy was like, what do you mean? And he was talking about how... We're always told that the friends will make us feel good, and this and that, and he goes, no, we were, we were taught, like, friends are gonna pat us on the back, and they're gonna, they're gonna agree with us, and they're, they're gonna do, you know, whatever we wanna do, and blah, blah, he goes, that's not a friend, he goes, I want my friends to tell me when I'm fucking up, I want my friends to tell me I'm stupid, I want my friends to tell me when I'm wrong. You know, when I'm being hard-headed, when I'm not listening. And he goes, I want that one friend who doesn't agree with me. <laughs> He's like, I want that one friend who keeps me in check. He goes, because if my friend is not worried to keep me in check, because they care about me that much, and that's the friend you want around. And a lot of people don't talk about that, but that's the truth. That's 100% the truth, and I saw that, and I was like, oh, that's, that's straight facts. That's 100% honest truth. And you won't understand that until you clear out your circle. And then you start, you start collecting the people who vibe with you on that, on that soul level, to where it's like, oh no, we're both here for the same thing, the best me possible. You know what I mean? The best me possible. Mercury's in conjunct with Chiron. That's what it was. Yes, ma'am. That's what it was. Wounds bubbling to the surface to be dealt with. Yeah, yeah. That's today. Yeah, that's today. That's today. I swear. The eclipse was awesome, and I felt better energy ever since. Dude, exactly though. Exactly. Hey, welcome in, Shannon. Welcome back. I know I know you were in here earlier, but I just saw your, uh, your little hearts. Not hearts. Rainbows. And I don't know why. I said welcome back when you said rainbows. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me why. You've been in here the whole time. <laughs> don't ask me why. <laughs> but that was, that was what my brain was like. How do you respond to rainbows? <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> but... But that's a hundred. That's a hundred percent the fact. Nikki, what is up, dude? How are you doing? Are we loving life? Are we doing good? Yeah. You caught me just before I'm about to pop off, homie. I hope you're doing good. You're doing? I don't know. Okay, isn't good. Good isn't great. I don't know, but I'm going to be honest, I feel like that doing feels more like action energy to me. Even though I know I know, I know what you're saying, I feel like that, that energy though, behind that, the energy behind the I'm doing, that feels like action energy to me. That feels like you're, you're trying to put things in motion, that feels like you're trying to do what you need to do. That's what that feels like. And just keep, keep in mind guys, and this is anybody in the room, there is no trying. 
Trying is the action of doing. So if you are actively trying, you are actively doing. We just have to start changing perspectives on that. Trying elicits a response that you're missing the mark. <laughs> you're not missing the mark. A lot of times it's just movement. It doesn't matter what direction, it's just movement. You know what I'm saying? We out here. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm open to get what I wish. <laughs> well, we don't always get what we wish, but we definitely get what we need. We definitely get what we need. And chances are, getting everything we need will lead us to what we want. And that's a huge part of the journey, is realizing that there's no destination. The journey just is the point. Yeah, well, I think we're going to pop off here. And I will see you guys later this evening. I'm batting around whether I'm going to go at 7 or whether I'm going to go at 8.30 like normal. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> you keep getting kicked out? <laughs> no room for you. But uh, thank you so much for your love, your likes, all the gifts. It is much appreciated. Happy Sunday. Have a good rest of the day. Blah. Nice to meet you. Have a good day too, dude. Good vibes. Always good vibes. Thank you authentically. Authenticity. No, authentically me. I said it right. But I will see you guys later. Keep in mind, if you purchase a read today or you want to rewatch any part of this live, it will be posted to YouTube, our YouTube channel. It's just Child of Balance. Or you can look at it in the link tree. We also have opened up dual private spaces as requested by uh, a few of you, actually. Um, we have now opened up a one-hour dual private space. So if you want to get read by me and Keys of Wisdom at the same time, like we do on lives, but for an entire hour in a private space, we now offer it. So feel free to check it out. It can be scheduled the same way through the website like everything else. Um, but yeah. So... We're also going to be, um, you've been seeing a lot of videos by Miss Rooted Intentions of her plant hangers. Her plant hangers will be coming to the website within the week, so keep an eye out. We're just doing some pre-advertising um, before we launch that product because we have a feeling it'll go very well because a lot of people like plants and they like the macrame with the crystals in them. So just be on the lookout for the website. I'll, uh, I'll do an announcement on the app and stuff like that, but that'll be there. And as we get into more of the summer, summer months and more of those spring and stuff like that, we will be opening uh, Mrs. Keys of Wisdom's herbal class. And at some point, I will be opening... Thank you for the cone! At some point, I will also be opening energy, energy areas to the website, whether it be energy healing or learning about energy, because I love to teach, so learning about energy and working with your own energy and stuff like that. Um, I totally got I'm just doing a lot of the structure on that still. So we're just playing that one by ear. But So there's a lot of stuff to come to the website. So please keep on the lookout um, because that is forever evolving. And I will be adding some new decks to the website like the Sunshine Deck and like a couple other things um, as product links. Thank you for the cones that you guys might enjoy seeing because we have gotten a few more decks uh, between me and Keys that you've seen us use, so we want to add them on there too. So just keep checking back to the website, guys. There's going to be a lot of things shifting, changing, and being added to it. Eventually, in the summer, we're hoping to have a few items, not a ton, but a few items of merchandise as well, um, with maybe some cool sayings, like some t-shirts or hoodies or something like that. Um, I want to do a ball cap, but I'm, or I want to do a beanie, but I'm still trying to figure that out. How I want to do that, but um, Keys has a problem. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Check out the Plant Angers Tree of Life Chakra Chains. Keys has a problem. <laughs> hey, Megan, what's up, dude? <laughs> With buying debts? <laughs> you do. You do, but it's okay. It is okay. It is okay. You can be the friend with that problem. That is fine. I'm the frugal friend who's like, can I spend money on myself? And Keys is like, I bought you seven things and they're mailed to you already. And I'm like, okay. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nah, but it's all good, dude. It's all good. <laughs> Welcome in, Megan, bro. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> what, was, what was that? What was that throat sound? Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> but we will be on later tonight, so if you have not gotten outside today, get your ass outside. That's cute. <laughs> get your ass outside. Get outside. Look how green the grass is. Like, get outside and go have some fun. Ground your ass. Really plant in the sunshine. There's something about this sun right now that it almost like demands your attention. And I'm not talking about the eclipse. Like it just demands your attention right now. So feel free to be a, be have your light bodies absorb up as much sun energy as possible right now. It's just going to be very beneficial for you. I don't know why, but that's what I feel like I need to tell you. So if you have not gone outside yet and you have not played, you have not gone outside, like go ahead and do it. I need to do that. It's beautiful. Oh, a thousand percent. Put your feet in the grass. Love every second of it. Love every second of it because, yeah, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. All right, guys. Well, I got I to gotta run out to the barn. So I will see you guys later this evening. We'll be back inside because it'll be dark time. But hopefully coming this, uh, as we get into more and more warm weather, I, I expect that you guys will be seeing my my ass welcome in jay you guys will be seeing my ass outside way more way more you know what i mean so i do want to try to schedule like a a mediumship walkthrough of like a known haunted place or maybe just some obscure land somewhere so um i'm still planning that one so but if one day you see on live that we're like raw mediumship you, you already know what's up you know what i'm saying <laughs> better get you an outside the lamp dude i do want to put like i do eventually want to get like the i have them i have to hang them where you like make the planners and you have like the string lights but the only problem is that i live out in the country a little bit not a lot but a little bit um to where I would have every bug in like four counties <laughs> to like the one light so it, it it would just be me trying to read you while swatting bugs all day um <laughs> but you never know we'll see we'll see <laughs> we embody the hermit with lantern <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness all right guys well i will see you later check out our instagram if you're not a member please go become a follower over there if you're not a member the website is 100 percent free and there's over 130 something articles of spiritual knowledge wisdom exercises you know practices and all those cool things recipes go ahead check it out it's on our website www.childofbalance.com we are also on youtube now youtube bring the dream to live with people size candles no <laughs> Giant lawn candles? Absolutely not. Like the whole neighborhood on fire trying to do trying to do some weird candle thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So we are also on YouTube. Please become a, a member. Or what, what would that be? Subscriber. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we're trying to grow that over there so that we can also um, do some do some podcasty things. Do some um, some other live videos over there as well same thing with instagram we also have a business page on here so if you're not a member of the business page please go ahead and check it out it is child of balance 369 in all numbers um and you'll see it'll have our logo right away it's very close to a thousand followers it's like 920 or something like that um and it's It'll see like all the videos are, are tagging the original creators like me, Keys of Wisdom, and Misrooted Intentions. So that's how you know it's our it's our actual page. But try to help us get to a thousand people on that page as well. So that way uh, we can go live from there as well. So we'll be doing all the things. Dancing. <laughs> dude, dude, nothing's better than Betty White and Sandra Bullock dancing in the in the forest and she's like, ooh. Uh, e, 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 o, 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 and she's like, to the window! <laughs> it's so fantastic. <laughs> so fantastic. 
Oh, go live for that, please. <laughs> okay, but that's a thousand percent. If you don't know what scene we're talking about, you don't need to be here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, what what was that? Uh, uh, newlywed? No. Uh, engaged. Um. Plan, plan an engagement. Uh, marry me. It, what, 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 what movie was that? The proposal. The proposal. The proposal. Yes, thank you. The proposal. I'm like over here, like marry me, engagement. What was it? Proposal. Fantastic. Fantastic. And he did so well in that movie. I don't care what anyone says. He did the actor uh, Ryan Reynolds. Is that what it is? He did so well in that movie. He literally was just like. <laughs> too young to be here <laughs> I just love that he's just like casually walking in the woods and he's like what in the world <laughs> oh my goodness some of the outtakes for that movie were fantastic too by the way in case you're wondering <laughs> some of the outtakes for that movie were fantastic <laughs> like the behind the scene cuts oh it was fantastic ah. alright guys well, I really do have to run. I will see you guys later. I will be back on around 8.30 or so. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Just getting in touch with Graham. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Oh, they're fantastic. If you haven't seen them, the deleted scenes are funny when she, like, decks him in the face with the pillow. And then, like, the even behind the scenes that aren't on, like, the CD that's released, like, you have to go, like, online to find them. They're hysterical. Like, the jokes that that uh, Betty White played behind the set, like, they caught on film. Like, it's just, it's just funny. It's just funny. You know? Welcome in, Mary. Um... We're, we're popping off, though, dude. But I will be back on later tonight. Um, we'll be back on probably around 8.30. Um, and we'll kind of see what's what at that point. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your time, your energy, and your space. Thank you for good conversation. Thank you for the follows, the shares, and all the gifts and the love taps. It is much appreciated. And I will see you guys later today. <laughs> If no one's told you yet today, I used to have a buddy who used to say this religiously. Thank you for being you.